you know, I get asked a lot why I'm so single and I don't know with all these prospects that I have with the online dating. I mean, take old boy, for instance, he's clearly in a prison cell with some bunks behind him. <laughs> Panty dropper. And then there's this guy. It, he, he'll hold that umbrella over my head should it rain and, you know, ward off any other ninjas should we get, you know, ambushed. Yeah, I, I, this one's a winner keeper. And here's Brian. He hasn't decided if he wants to um, forego the hair because he's hanging on by a thread. Literally. And I'm pretty sure that if I was a kid, he'd offer me candy. Hey, I'm Alan. I like to smoke a lot of weed and um, like to eat a lot of food in my mom's basement. So you want to go out? Send help, please. So I lost my virginity to my ex-husband. And for 13 years, that was the only dick I had ever had. Like, I didn't know of any other dick. Okay? And so I didn't know my true potential until after I left him. And that's when I started becoming like a little right? And not exploring my true potential of what real was. So I feel like I should be able to like to take him to court or something or sue him because that was the only dick I had. Like I wasted that younger, thinner potential on a fucking shrimp nugget. When I could have just been having some long john this entire time when I was younger. I mean, there I was pretending to choke on some little ass toe. So my five-year-old really wants me to have another baby. Um, and she told me that if I just got married and then had another baby, if he was mean to me, I could just be like, well, no more husband, but I would still have another baby. Um, so I'm, I'm currently looking for my next ex-husband. So here we have these 40 year old divorced single moms complaining about their dating prospects. And it's like, what do you expect? You are A, divorced, B, are now a single mom because you chose to divorce your husband. And here they are making fun of their dating prospects, complaining about them, complaining about their ex-husbands, what does that tell you they're going how do I mean, what does that tell you how they're going to treat you if you get involved with them essentially they're going to repeat the same be pattern behavior they're going to talk smack about you probably during the relationship and definitely when the relationship is over uh they're never going to say anything have anything nice to say about you they're going to bash you run a smear campaign yeah these chicks oh they're yeah they're such they're such prizes there I mean, for them, I would just be happy with the fact that I have dating prospects at all. That any guys want to have anything to do with me at all. Especially being a divorced single mother. And really, the only guys that are going to want to have anything to do with you are going to be those lower tier, lower value guys who can't get hotter women. Okay, that's pretty much what you're doomed to. I mean, these chicks were married. They had husbands. They could have still been married if they just treated their husbands better. Right? If they stopped being so entitled, they would still be married today. But a lot of these chicks, they just think way too highly of themselves. Right? They value themselves just a little too much. And they think that they can go out there and get a better man. That they can replace their husbands. And it's not until they divorce their husbands that they quickly find out that that's just not true. It never ceases to amaze me how many of these chicks divorce their husbands in their 40s, if not older, thinking they're going to get back out there as if they were, you know, in their 20s still and be able to still land those high value chads. No, the reality is much darker, ladies. They divorce their husbands, they get back out there, get on these dating apps, and they realize they are invisible, okay? They are invisible to men their own age. Men their own age don't want them anymore, especially the ones that are that are single like they are. These guys, 
they quickly recognize that they are the prize. They quickly recognize that as a man in their 40s, they're getting hit up by women in their 20s, their 30s, their 40s, and their 50s. They have like the world at their fingertips, right? They're getting, I mean, they can dance around any of these different generations that are on these dating apps. Uh, any of these single women from their 20s all the way up until their 50s and beyond, if they wanted to. I don't know why you would do that, but if they wanted to, they could do that. They just have the world. The world is their oyster. However, you get these single these single moms that are divorced thinking that uh, they could leave their husbands and then get back out there and pick up the pieces that they left behind, you know, 20-some-odd years ago. You can't, right? You can't. And many of these guys on these dating apps realize that they are the ones in power. And many of the chicks who date long enough quickly realize that. They quickly realize like, hey, if I could get a guy my own age who's even decent looking, I've got a prize. But do they value that? Absolutely not. Of course not, right? They still make everything about themselves. And this is the reason why they're divorced, alone, and now, you know, like still raising their kids is because most guys, I mean, most guys who value themselves don't want anything to do with them, right? And the biggest mistake that these chicks make is leaving their husbands, leaving their family. I mean, can you imagine what, like, the the, the narcissism it would take? I mean, because most of these... Most of these divorces are filed by women. Overwhelmingly, it's filed by the woman. I think it's above 75%. Okay, above 75%. That means three out of four people who file for divorce is the woman. Okay, and most of the reason why is A, because they're being brainwashed by the establishment, establishment media. Um, besides their girlfriends telling them, oh, you leave him, girl. Just leave him. We'll go clubbing again like we used to in the in the late 80s we're gonna go clubbing again and you know we're gonna pick up the pieces and then they quickly realize they can't so they've got their girlfriends and established media telling like feeding them in their ear like you don't need him girl you don't need to cook for him you don't need to clean for him he should be doing all these things for you you don't need to lift a finger what is he trying to you know put you put you back on a plantation or something you know, they start feeding them all of this malarkey and these girls buy into it and then they divorce their husbands only to find that this is what the future holds for them. I mean, the, the chick in the second video that I featured tonight, that chick, i to put this down a little bit. That chick met her husband when she was a virgin. She married him. That was the only man she had been with. She admitted that. And now... She decided to leave her husband of so many years, and her kids, by the way, to go out there and get on these dating apps. I mean, you know, could you have not just appreciated your husband just a little bit more? Could you not just stop being, just lower your sense of entitlement? Stop making everything about you? Could you not have done that? Because if you did, you'd still be married, and you wouldn't be out here on these dating apps like most of these divorced single moms wanting to tear your eyes out just completely frustrated and being used as a sperm bucket by these random men i mean does that sound like a does that sound like a better option than being married in a family where there's cohesiveness where you have plans together family vacations trips to disneyland graduations you know, family picnics, Christmas. Why would you leave all that to, to, to get on Bumble, right? To get on some dating app, to get on Tinder or OkCupid where you're just going to be swiping profiles. Now, instead of your day consisting of you making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for your kids and going to the grocery store, you know, going to Ralph's and picking up some groceries or making cookies. Instead of doing that, your days now consist of uh, swiping. Swiping on random men. 
okay? Random men who are never gonna see any value in you like your husband did, that married you, that took your virginity, that you gave him your virginity. They're never gonna see that value in you. They're just gonna see you as essentially um, an old aging four-eyed piece of ass. Sorry to say. Right? I mean, it, it just goes to show like these chicks just right no honor man i mean the fact that they were all bashing their ex-husbands too just zero honor zero morals zero character because that's not something you do to the father of your children right you don't bash them like that and i see so many of these single moms especially the divorced ones all they do is bash the ex-husband bash you know bash who he is how he is yeah and it's like don't you think your kids might see this because I'm sure her kids have her TikTok. Don't you think your kids are going to see this? I, do you really want to hear about your dad's penis and your mom complaining about it? That's gross, right? Have a little class, which many of these chicks are lacking. Show a little bit of class, man. Sad, right? Sad. These like 40-year-old plus harpies still think that they can get out there and compete with the 20-year-old versions of themselves. You can't. And it's, they find out when it's too late. Right, they just find out when it's too late. I've read a number of these stories too, where the woman was in her 40s, you know, thought she was hot, you know, thought she was like super hot, and she could just divorce her husband and get back out there, and quick only to realize that she doesn't have the value that she did before. Yet to make things worse, she finds out that her husband now does. She finds out that her husband is the one who's getting out there and dating like the the late teens, early 20 year olds. And I actually did read a story about that, how this chick divorced her husband, or they got divorced. She was being too much of a ball breaker. They got divorced, and uh, they were in their 40s, and he literally, like, less than a month later, replaced her with an 18-year-old. 18-year-old! And moved that chick into their previous home that, you know, he booted her out of. Moved that chick in, or maybe they went into a new house. I don't remember, but he got with this 18-year-old girl, and they're still together, and I think it was like three years later, she's still not over it. It's like, well, why didn't you just treat him better? Why didn't you just, you know, cater to him a little bit more? Why didn't you do these things that so many modern women fail to do? You would have kept him. You would have held on to him, but she didn't. And a lot of these divorced chicks in their 40s are finding it out very quickly. As always, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to share, drop them in the comments below, fellas, and I will see you in the comments. So until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets signing out. Go ahead and smash that like button below. Also, guys, make sure you hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on my YouTube channel. More importantly, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, okay? Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton. It tells YouTube that you are loving my videos, you're digging it, you want me to come out here to Vegas even more and shoot more coaching videos for you that can help you, educate you, and take you to the next level in life. Take you into a whole new dimension that the mainstream parents, teacher society never ever taught you about, never even told you about, because they themselves weren't aware of it. Right, so please make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students are out there cold approaching and closing every single week. I kid you not, every single week, no matter what chaos is going on in the world, no matter what nonsense is going on out there, we are still making things happen. That is the absolute best way to support my work by jumping into seven months of mastery. And right now, the first month is only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons. It's only one dollar. And all you need to do to get signed up is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.